you know, I'm surprised that I didn't do this video earlier, guys. This is kind of the story of how I got back into September 11th, the event and everything surrounding it. And it has to do with music that was played on that day. Now, a little bit of backstory, you know, I was involved, looked up some things regarding 9-11 back when I was 17 or 18, you know, right around the date of September 11th. That's normally when all the normie people get into it, get fascinated by it. I was kind of like that back when I was younger, but there was really no motivation to go deep into it until probably about nine or 10 months ago when I was scrolling through Reddit and I saw a video and it was of the World Trade Center Plaza and you could see just a bunch of debris on the ground with the song playing, She's Always a Woman. And it was just such an interesting contrast because you could see in the video, look up right at both towers and it was almost like the perfect shot. Both of the towers were burning, were smoking at the entry wounds from the planes. And it was almost like a beautiful disaster where the smoke was arising from both of them at the same time. And you could hear this song playing because it was on autoplay from the speakers. It, they they kind of did it in a loop. And I'm going to go over all the music that was played and kind of the two big clips that everyone remembers. But it was just something that was so weird. And you look up at both of the towers burning and it almost feels like a bad dream. And the thing that really brings you back to reality is when you look at the ground, you look at the plaza, and it's coated in like a foot of debris, and you realize that this is really happening, this is really bad. It's just like looking at all the debris on the ground from the plane crashes into the building. It's like, it's a horror show. You don't want to believe it, but then you see all this debris lying on the ground like this should not be here, and it's just such a horrible event. Now, they were able to actually locate the real songs and the playlist from this, it was originally on Lost Media. I know that subreddit really picked this up and looking for it. And you can see the two major songs in terms of the audio clips that were played. You know, these would have been captured in the background as people were filming both the towers burning, filming the ground. She's Always a Woman and also How Deep Is Your Love. Those were the two songs that were playing. They were at the beginning of the playlists. This is a playlist we would imagine that would just be on a loop and it's just circumstance. There's no other reason that these songs would be playing. They thought it was just a normal two Tuesday morning. So they were playing these songs on a loop in the lobby area and it creates this horror show with like this beautiful music in the background and the contrast of it is just so crazy. I think what it really was, it was a timing thing. It, it was just like the, the, the craziest time where this song is playing and the video is being recorded and it's it split up a little bit. There's definitely a lot of lost media in relation to September 11th that people are looking for. Uh, but that was just always something that stuck with me. And it, it really got me back in to this entire event about eight or nine months ago when I saw that. It just, it, it piques your curiosity. That's what I'll say. And it really does take you down a rabbit hole. Now, in speaking of the plaza, obviously the stage was set up that September. You also had this situation in the mid nineties. I did a video on this, but this was like one of my first videos I did on this subject regarding it. It was the failed renovation attempt. A lot of people don't know this, but there was an actual renovation, uh, renderings, drawings, model of the lobby, or, or excuse me, of the plaza, and a very weird cable netting system going down, covering the entire plaza, I guess protecting the people from the elements. Could you imagine if this thing actually got passed, they decided to do this renovation? It would have completely cluttered the plaza, and I'm not going to sit here and, and, and say exactly what would happen in terms of September 11th, but if you got a contraption right there, it, uh, it would not have went well for sure with all of those cables hanging down from the Twin Towers. I mean, that is just a terrible design there, you know, in terms of having cables hang down from a skyscraper to hold up some type of netting or some type of overhang to allow for the plaza to be blocked off from rain, I guess. I don't know. I just think it's pretty crazy in terms of that. This is a little Minecraft build that I saw. Now I did do a video where I explored the Twin Towers, I believe through Minecraft. 
I think I did that video. I want it. Yeah, I did it because I was uh, complaining about the tridents. Normally, when they make these videos, uh, the tridents end up being too wide. This is the same exact issue. I can just tell right now the tridents are too wide, but that's neither here nor there. The reason I brought up this photo, this was a 1979 version. So there's no Marriott. And there also is no Building 7. It is a 1979 version. It's just World Trade Center 1, World Trade Center 2, 4, 5, and 6. That is the entire complex there. And then this is that weird photo that I've talked about before of the original reveal of the Twin Towers with some type of pillar structure surrounding them going all the way around the one, one of the towers. And also you can see extending to the other tower. And it looks like you also do have Building 5 in that image and Building 4. But imagine if that structure would have went up. There would have been no Marriott. It is right in the way of where the Marriott is now. I'm not exactly sure what that was supposed to be. It's literally encasing one of the towers and again, it's taking up that area on the right in between both of the towers is where the Marriott ended up going. That would not have happened if whatever that big, almost government-like building actually went up. Maybe that was just a weird kind of model thing where they wanted to support the towers. I don't exactly know what that was intended to be. Um, there's really no information on it, but either way, kind of a weird thing to reveal in terms of the original 1964 model that they were showing. That didn't end up being the final model. That was just the first one that they were Revealed. Obviously, they changed the ground level stuff and revealed the tridents and made the towers completely uh, standing by themselves with nothing, you know, surrounding them like a building wasn't right up against them. And then this is just a photo. You can see a nice little Minecraft image of both of the towers. You do have the Marriott in the background and the entire plaza wide open with no stage here. This is not how it was on September 11th. This is another photo of them possibly just rebuilding the tower straight up. Right next to them, you can see both of the tribute waterfalls. Uh, it, that's if they decided to do that. I, I don't think the ground would look like that, though, where you have basically trees going up against both of the new towers. Obviously, it's a decision they could have made. This is a surprisingly HD photo that I found. I just thought it was random. This is looking directly, I believe, at 5 World Trade Center. So this would have been the fifth building. This was the one building that kind of came out not completely unscathed. It had a hole in it, but they ended up just demolishing it. It was the one building that kind of was still intact because it was diagonal from both of the towers. So it would have been furthest away. And then this is just another model looking down at the lobby. You can see Building 7 involved in that, the Marriott involved, Buildings 4, 5, and 6 as well, the smaller buildings in terms of that. And then it feels like this is the one holidays slash Christmas photo that everyone always talks about in relation to the Twin Towers, this photograph with the peace on earth right there. You also do have a nice, looks like, decorations there on the bottom. Looks like a nice little sphere lit up. And then the towers, this picture probably taken at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon around December with uh, the sun almost setting there on a very cloudy day, that would be my guess. This is just something I found on Pinterest. You know, it's the holidays, you're throwing a little, a few holiday photos, including the lobby all decked out. Maybe I'll do a video on the Twin Towers during the holidays, although I don't know if I could find enough photos of it. The lobbies did get decorated. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just kind of wanted to talk about the music, the hidden, very interesting, almost like the perfect slash worst timing in terms of that music being on, you know, as the video was going with both of the towers in the background and you look up and you see both of them with smoke billowing out and it's like, there's no way this is real. And you look at the ground and it's just coated with debris. And it's just a horrible, horrible situation. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.